Hey guys, Auspicious Aussie here, and welcome to episode 15 of my Atlanta United series. Today's episode is going to be a little bit of a different one. As you can see, we're going to be versing Phoenix Rising in the US Open Cup fourth round. Basically, I just wanted to do a team that we are obviously not going to verse every season. Bit of a one-off. Uh, of course, Phoenix Rising, they're a non-MLS team in the United States. Um... Not a hundred percent sure, but I believe they play in the USL, uh, which is essentially the second and third tier below the MLS. That obviously can't gain promotion. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, obviously, a lot of our fringe players, backup players, will be playing in this one. Uh, unfortunately, two of our players are currently missing, and that is Carlton and Bello. So both of those guys. Unfortunately, won't be able to take part in this game uh, due to their involvement with the US under-20s. So yeah, let's go over the recent fixtures. Of course, the previous episode was the North American Champions League victory over the LA Galaxy. Oh, I still can't get, get over that class and goal. I, I was pretty excited. I mean, if you're watching, you might have been pretty excited as well. That I was, I would say, next level. Almost a little bit cringy, but, you know, second season to win the Champions League. I think it was a a fitting response to a pretty impressive goal right at the end of uh, extra time. So, yeah, we followed that up with a 1-0 victory over DC United. Carleton, the only goal scorer in this one. And, uh, yeah, pretty impressive for him to come, or for him to start the game, sorry, and to score a goal. We then followed that up with a 5-1 away victory against New England. Robinson, Pires, Villalba, Goslin, and Nagby on the score sheet. Uh, we then had a really, really weird 4-3 away victory against Philadelphia. Um, as you can see, they scored the equalizing goal in the 91st minute. And then Barco scored the winning goal in the 95th minute. Five minutes into stoppage time. Uh, but yeah, we were down. Uh, we managed to get one back through an own goal. Uh, then we had Nagby score on the stroke of half time. And then Joseph Martinez, and as I mentioned, Barco getting the winning goal. A pretty impressive game. And um, honestly, I thought we were going to be screwed over and have to settle for the draw. But it wasn't to be. We then managed to again beat LA Galaxy. 3 1 away victory. Carleton again on the score sheet, Pires and Gressel. We then went home and managed to beat Orlando City. 3-0 victory. Leon, a Zach Macmuth own goal. Uh, I think they're the, he's the goalkeeper for Orlando. And then finally Nagby on the score sheet. Uh, we then also managed to beat Columbus Crew 3-0 away from home. Klaassen with a brace and Gressel on the score sheet there. And the, guy, sorry, and the game I just played was a 4-0 victory over the San Jose Earthquakes, or the Quakes. Yeah, very dominant display. Joseph Martinez, Nagby, Escobar, and Martinez on the score sheet. Uh, but they did have a player sent off in the 36th minute. So yeah, that's all the games up to date. Like I said, I was contemplating doing the San Jose game, but I just felt like this game... Phoenix Rising games, it's just a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, they're not a bad team. As you can see, USL Western Conference, so interesting. Um, they do have a, a strong affiliation with Orlando City, uh, which is interesting. I guess they're like Orlando's feeder clubs, or like one of their feeder clubs or something. I would assume that's sort of the case, but again, I don't really have any, any clue as to the affiliations like that. Um, in terms of the league table, as you can see, we are currently sitting in first place in the Eastern Conference. And then we have Houston over here sitting in first, although LAFC could go ahead with their game in hand. Uh, in terms of the oops, Supporter Shield, obviously we're you know quite some way ahead of second place. Um, we also have two games in hand over Houston. Although I would say New York and LA are probably a bit closer to us in terms of our overall 
supporter shield points if they do win games in hand and of course you know if we do as well uh in terms of transfers i don't think there's been any activity um as you can see still all pretty much the same and of course uh we do actually have another transfer set up to come in during july and it is for this guy marco olive oliver oliver i'm gonna go with oliver Really, really good 16-year-old Honduran. I mean, he looks like a top MLS quality player already, and he's only 16. As you can see, he'll be coming... I'm, I'm not sure. I guess that's two seasons away, essentially, uh, when he actually turns 18. Uh, we've signed him for a really cheap transfer fee, 120k, um, and he's only going to be on a 1k per week backup contract, so... Yeah, it's definitely a good thing. Um, obviously, I'm trying to plan for the future because I do believe Joseph Martinez could possibly be signed. Between him, Barco, and Gonzalo Martinez, there's a lot of interest in, tr in transfers from uh, from EPL clubs. I think Barco had Man City interested in him. So it's going to be really hard to keep all of our marquee players, but you know I would like to in theory, but if a, a decent offer comes in, say about 15 million, 20 million, somewhere around that sort of region, I'm probably going to accept it purely for the fact that that's kind of a lot of money for MLS players. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into today's lineup. Like I said, going to be some players that, you know, might not feature regularly. Um, unfortunately... Like I said, the two younger players that have been playing pretty well, unfortunately, are going to be out today. Uh, so in goals, we're going to swap things around. We're going to go with Can, and we're going to put Guzan on the bench. So Can starts. Uh, then at right back, we're going to go with Remedi, who I am training as a right back. Uh, he's doing pretty well. He's not natural there yet, uh, but hopefully a few more games playing there, and he'll get to that stage. In the center back position, we're going to go with Perez and Robinson. Obviously, give give Robinson a little bit of game time. Pogba's pretty fatigued as well, so it makes sense. Left back, we're going to go with Shea. Uh, Laurentowitz is going to start as defensive midfielder. Nagby and Gressel. Uh, unfortunately, both have to start. I would have liked to arrest one of them, uh, but due to an injury to Gosselin, uh, that's not going to be possible today. Uh, on the right wing, we're going to go with Villalba. Left wing, Leon. Um... Gonzalo Martinez actually picked up a, a knock in the previous game. Um, and as you can see, uh, I guess um, he's not fully fit for the game. So yeah, uh, the bench today, we're going to be one short, is Guzan, Pogba, Escobar, Gonzalo Martinez, Barco, and Joseph Martinez. Although we have to get rid of, <laughs> we actually have to get rid of another one uh, due to the fact it's interesting that the uh, US Open Cup, you can only have five foreign players in the whole squad, the match day squad. So very interesting, but obviously you can kind of understand why that is due to the fact that they probably want to promote, you know, young American players and try and develop them. And of course, you know, it's a, a bit of a an extra advantage that MLS teams would have over some of the other clubs that might not have... Foreign players, for example. I think it's it's a pretty good initiative, to be honest. Uh, especially for a domestic cup. Like, a lot of MLS teams might not take it too seriously and might use it in order to actually blood in their youth players. So, yeah, it's an interesting thing. Anyway... Obviously, we're absolutely dominating them at the moment, which is great to see, but we cannot find the breakthrough yet, and uh, Asante has just got, uh, gotten injured, which is, I think, their best player, their key player, so that's not great. Nagby shoots over the bar, not really good enough, to be honest, especially against a team of this quality. Laurentowitz with the free kick. Oh, that's a beautiful free kick. Absolutely beautiful. Take a bow, son. That was really nice. 
And there's half time. Okay, well, I'm glad we finally got the uh, the breakthrough goal there from the Laurentowitz free kick. However, I'm not really that impressed with that first half. I think we could do a lot better. You know, no no disrespect to Phoenix Rising. I, I kind of like the name. Like, it's a bit more American, I feel, Phoenix Rising. Obviously, Atlanta United. Ooh, Gressel with a beautiful goal there on the edge of the box. He's definitely, you know, he's definitely done that quite a few times so far in his career. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy when he does do it. Um, I might actually take Klaassen off here. He's not really playing too well. He's on a 6.5, so we'll just bring Joseph Martinez on, see if he can uh, score a hat-trick or so against this lower league team. Probably not. He'll probably play a 6.5 or something as well. You never know. We are moving the ball pretty nicely, though. We're in the 70th minute or 71st minute. Nagby, breaking forward, and that's a really tame shot, really weak effort. Honestly, he should be doing a little bit better. Robinson heads over the over the bar, off the corner, and now we have Leon breaking forward as well. I mean, two nils, uh, you know, respectable, I would say, for both teams, considering where we are and where they are, in terms of the... Oh, we've actually just got a third from Joseph Martinez. Cheeky little header off the Leon cross. Okay, now it looks a, a little bit worse for Phoenix. And Laurentowitz has another free kick, uh, which he bangs over the top. Well, I mean, to be fair, there have been MLS teams that haven't recorded a shot on target against us in a game before. So, you know, full credit to Phoenix. They, they got three shots, one on target. Got a free kick here. I thought that might have been a penalty. It's not. Uh, Laurentowitz gives away a free kick. Although I think that should be full time. Yeah, there we go. 3-0 victory. Obviously, it's sort of expected. Um, obviously, Phoenix aren't rising too high at the moment. But, you know, we kind of are. So that's really good. Praise Gressel here, and then I think we'll uh, we'll wrap the episode up. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Obviously, not an MLS game, something a bit different. Just wanted to, you know, showcase some other players and uh, yeah, just verse a team for you guys that I haven't, you know, or probably won't verse very often, if at all, again in the series. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. And if you hit the notification bell, you should hopefully be kept up to date with all these episodes coming out in the future. Thank you for watching, guys. Take it easy and goodbye.